at iLabs was to educate state lawmakers about how the brains of young children develop. They are making decisions about where to invest the precious resources of the state. We want to make sure that they're using science when they make those decisions. We know that learning begins before birth, so we like to say that we're born learning. So when we understand the details of what are the interactions and the qualities of the environment that in infancy that predict not only school readiness but lifelong learning. So we really wanted to connect with policymakers today. The science is absolutely clear that our paramount duty in basic education is not just K through 12. It is from birth through 12 and beyond that the learning starts at birth. I think a lot of us who are parents know that, but now the science is clear. So we need to support the effort to make sure every family can help educate their children from the day they're born. What was magical today is we had the scientists nose to nose talking with these folks who are interested in policy and practice. It shows that this state can have different stakeholders work together. I have been uh, the chair of the Education Appropriations Committee and in that position I've worked hard to develop a funding system that really recognizes the value of early childhood education. Without the research base it's very hard to persuade the public that we need to invest in this. It's the biggest bang for the buck. There's no better return on the tax dollar than early childhood development. The, the most critical thing is to not go back we, there's always more that we can do. Washington has done a pretty good job and is really a leader largely because of institutes like this at the University of Washington that's translated through into some pretty innovative early learning public policies. We've got to maintain the gains we have and then project forward as the economy gets better and we can restructure our investments in early childhood education. Our main mission is really to bring the science of early learning to policymakers to practitioners, so educators and child care providers, to parents and families on the ground with children, and uh, lastly, our business leaders and community leaders who are really involved in the community. So when these four constituents can really understand the science of early learning, that's when we really can start to see the power of change.